This is the Xiaomi Poco F4 GT. The Poco F4 GT manages to appeal to gamers with top-tier specs, while toning down its looks for those who don't want to have a garish smartphone. It's not just for the gamers out there, but they'll appreciate it much more. With a 6.67 screen, the F4 GT is a rather large smartphone. The thickness is 8.5mm, so it is certainly not the thinnest model out there, and the weight is also significant, 210 grams. In short, it is a large smartphone, certainly not easy to use with one hand. The finish is at least not slippery, which helps if you want to use it without a case. Poco did a nice job of reducing the bezels around the screen, and the AMOLED panel is pretty much the absolute star, apart from the small hole for the front camera. The right side is particularly interesting, here we find the power button which integrates a fingerprint sensor. But what's most interesting are the triggers for gaming sessions, and the brilliant thing is that they are physical keys. Poco F4 GT also has an audio system with four speakers, two tweeters and two woofers, organized in two groups. The maximum volume is very loud, the sound is clean, and the audio spectrum is relatively wide. Below is the USB-C connector, while on the left you can see the drawer for the SIM and an extra microphone. The F4 GT has no 3.5mm jack socket, nor are there any headphones in the box. However, there is a USB-C to 3.5mm adapter, which isn't a bad solution for those who want to continue using their wired headphones. The one please the Poco F4 GT does not shine as its camera. The main sensor is a 64MP Sony IMX686. It is not a top of the range, and we find it on other gaming smartphones such as Asus ROG Phone 5, but also on mid-range models such as Oppo Reno 5. The camera module has three lenses and protrudes a lot from the body of the smartphone. Enough to make it wobbly when placed on a table. The 20MP front camera is great for taking photos and videos, handles contrast and details very well, but tends to generate slightly dull colors. There isn't much to say about a smartphone with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, and 12GB of RAM in 2022. It may not be the most powerful phone out there, but it is certainly among the most powerful of all. For a start you can play whatever your favorite game is. The high performance of the processor, together with the frequency of the screen, guarantee a high-level gaming experience. Being an OLED screen we find excellent contrasts. The colors are quite bright, probably too much with the default settings. It still remains an excellent screen, even for enjoying movies and TV series, thanks to HDR10 compatibility. The Poco F4 Pro is a smartphone without glory or infamy when it comes to battery life. In a medium to medium high usage scenario, you can expect it to last all day. Poco has installed a battery of only 4700 mAh. Two batteries to be precise each. The Poco F4 GT offers excellent value for money. In some respects there is certainly room for improvement, but at this price it is certainly one of the best purchases possible. If you have gotten value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Tech5 for more.